All right, fellas, CJ, your favorite scuba diver here with Deep South Divers. I would turn this around on me, but you don't want to see me today. I am still uh, suffering from a busted knee. I have my brace off. I'm not supposed to, et cetera, et cetera. But here I have a, a, a Showa 660, which is what everybody knows and loves. This is a PVC glove. And then I also have an NSK24 here. You can see there's a definite color difference. There's a texture difference. This is like a rough sandpaper, and this is just kind of a textured... Uh, anyway, they're both a left glove so that I can hold the camera with my right glove. Unfortunately, I don't have a 2X660. I have an XL660, which is my normal size. But, uh, and the NSK24, I only have a 2X NSK24. So this will give you an idea of the size difference between the two gloves. You see there's about a 40 millimeter difference between the ends. Yeah, I, gotta, I guess I got them about even at the top there. So it's longer, it's got a scalloped edge, not a sewn in edge. And the interior here is just about the same as this. Very similar from what Showa tells me. This is nylon and this is cotton. Cotton will absorb perspiration, which may seem great at first, but they will get damp and stay that way. The nylon will not. So this is a superior uh, material. Um, stretch wise, um, this NSK24 does not have a whole lot more stretch than the PVC glove, even though nitrile is considerably more stretchy. Um, this glove is pretty thick, about the same thickness, just the materials are different, and of course the color difference. But anyway, um, I'm going to put these on here. I'm not sure if I can do it all while wearing the, uh, the glove. <clears throat> I cannot, so hang on a second here. All right, so here is the 660 on me. Okay, this isn't the size that I would normally wear. It is the size I would normally wear. This is an XL. So that gives you an idea of how thick those fingers are. Okay. Um, if I wanted to wear any undergarment under this glove at all, I'd have to go up a size. This is what I would normally wear around. Uh, this glove would be relatively chilly. The 720s, which are this glove, but nitrile, but not thick nitrile like these NSK24s. Anyway, um, I would go. I would go a little bit bigger. The uh, the 720s are a little bit warmer because nitrile is more insulative than PVC. So, in other words, I love this glove just like this, no liner underneath, and I wear these. Uh, except the 720 version, not the 660 version, because of the nitrile, and I find them very warm and flexible and comfortable. Okay, but anyway, so here's the NSK24s. I'm gonna pull these off. I'm gonna pull this uh, 660 PVC off, and let's go to the NSK24s. Now, um, Max Bottom Time there was was thinking that the fingers were a lot thinner, and they certainly look that way. See how thin they look? But that's just because of the way that the material lays. I'll show you what I mean. I'm putting this glove on now, which just slides right on because it's a it's a much bigger glove for me. My hand is in that. But you can see there is no lack of width in those fingers. They're they're huge. So it looks like they're very thin, but they are not. So um, here's your nitrile glove. This is the same thickness as the 660s. Um, but they're a lot more flexible and I can tell you they're going to be a lot more insulative even though the 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 fabric inside is no no more so all right so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this glove off and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this finger remember this is a 2XL this is a single XL but I'm going to take one of these fingers let's take the index finger for example and I'm going to flatten it out sorry about the camera shaking and everything but uh, I've got one hand to work with Okay, that's your width there of the fingers. And I'm gonna take this one here. Let's turn them next to each other and see if there's a significant difference in the width of these index fingers. I expect this one to be smaller because it is a smaller glove. And in fact, that is the case. Let's see if we can get them. I mean, I, I know that I'm just kind of winging this here, but I just want to give you an idea um, 
if I put these even, this is harder to do than it looks, especially with one, with one hand. Okay, they look to be about the same. Same with, I, I don't have any reason to believe that these, um, that these two gloves are cut any differently. You know, the form that they make these gloves on is probably exactly the same form. They both appear to be curved the same way, everything. Um, but I do expect that this 2X would be a little bit thicker than the single X. And they're about the same. See this way here. Well, yeah, I don't see a significant difference. So, uh, I can tell you that when I put them on, you know, I can just throw this glove on. Watch this. That's because it's a 2X, right? There we go. Well, you can see there's lots of room in there. I mean, I got way too much room. And if you wanted to put a liner in that, that'd be no problem. In fact, I have a couple liners and I could probably uh, put those on today. I think the single XL. Yeah, I can't get the single XL on without using two hands because that actually fits. I don't think you get a liner on there. <laughs> 